So let's start with the Kafka client admin where you could actually create uh, the topic. You can you know, delete the topic. You could describe. Uh, you could say that uh, get the details of the topic uh, through the uh, Kafka admin client. So uh, this is the application I have made. Uh, this is the utility class where all the methods are written. You know, uh, to list the topic, to describe the topic, to create the topic, to delete the topic. So I will test it uh, one by one. I created one controller to uh, you know access those methods. So let's start it. Uh, let me install to create the you know build jar file so that I could run it locally. So there is your one error. Let me see what is it. Illegal. One being added. Admin is not to be, I guess. here I guess right so it, it it will definitely ask for B either you have to create a so make a service or the component now it looks good so Right, so it came here. So let me go inside the create topic method, uh, which is actually communicating with the Kafka server. So here, F6. So topic name is Ruby and partition is this. See, you can see it here all the messages, so it's right now not showing anything. So, once I will call the create topic, see the method. Uh, so, you see in the message, so see, uh, the more partition must be larger than zero. Error requesting, no, this one that is this, the more partition replication. So partitions are so we have to mention the partition size actually. So that is the one mistake. Uh, so the partition size, okay. I'm not showing the partition size here. So name which argument is this? Partition size is the replication factor. So by default I will make it one. You can you know use uh, argument. You can pass the argument to create it uh, whenever you need it. But because this is just a sample application, so I'm not uh, writing that code. So install.
why I'm not showing you in completely running application. The reason behind is that these are the errors, you know, uh, comes when you actually uh, uh, implement these applications and it's uh, very difficult to uh, debug it. So you will be like clueless. So that is why I'm you know, showing everything so that uh, whenever you face this kind of uh, error, uh, you will fix it actually. That's the topic. So I'm going again F6. We go here and run the command create topic. So no checkpoint. Creating logo the partition. This one. This 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 checkpoint topic. This get log data file initial high water mark. This this this. So all the details are there. So let me see if uh, right now I'm just passing the success. Uh, there is uh, no validation or something like that. So it could you know. Uh, implement that by yourself. I will I will put another legal point here. So the next controller is actually the list topic. Let's say first uh, check the list of the topics. That means uh, it will show you all the topic list, all the topic details. Uh, now the topic it is it will list all the topics uh, whatever is there so what's the error list topics list topics timeout Why is it so? It's not accepting new calls. Why so? Right. So. Okay, so we actually close the connection here. Ideally, we should not close it. Um, right, move um, out the places wherever we are closing the connection. These are the two topics that is uh, mentioned here, like the test topic and the test test hyphen topic. So we rerun it again, and I will put the data point there. List topic, this one. So it will go there. 
see the topics there are two pages. It, it is actually returning a future collection where you could see the list of two topics one is the topics another is the test i mean you know, one name is the test and another is the test topic so test topic is the latest one which i have created so you could see the details here as well uh, if there is any log so so it is printing the same so to describe the topic uh, i just need to call the describe topic api so describe topics so you could mention the multiple topics as well because it takes a list of topic so test topic describe topics Describe topics. Yeah, there was some technical issues. So we could go inside and add the topic in the detail. So we could see what the topic details are there. Some test topics. See. So you want more details? Then you must print the topic details. Yeah. So the, this is the demo topic. These are the details, prediction, the rank, replicas, everything is mentioned here. So, and if you want to delete it, you will simply call the delete API. For example, in this case, uh, admin controller delete. Success. Again, there is some error. Uh, let me restart it. As per the recommendation, you should not delete the topic because that. So sometimes what happened is like whenever uh, you have your Apache uh, uh, JoeKeeper and the Kafka setup in your local setup. Whenever you delete or maybe you are, you know, uh, you did some mistake during the producer or uh, producing the message or consuming the message, your uh, server will, you know, stop and it will not start. 
like uh, we saw earlier when I deleted the topic, it was not able to start. So what what you can do is you could just go to the log details of your Jukeeper and you can delete the log. Uh, this is completely you know for the testing purpose. Uh, in, in production level, you don't need to do that, but uh, because I'm uh, you know, uh, telling you how to configure and how to use these uh, messaging tools, so yeah, you could do that. You could go to the this log, and you could delete all the you know, log details, as well as uh, I set up a local directory for keeping the, all the messages, so here you could delete. So this is, I mean, simple trick during the you know testing. You could uh, do this, but uh, not on the production. Uh, deleting any messages from the production server can you know, cause a catastrophic uh, issue. So never do it there. So you can see that uh, I have configured the message location, uh, message log directory here. So yeah, you can do that for the testing purpose only. So this is the example of uh, Kafka admin client, where you could programmatically create the topic. You could list the dictionary, a list of topics. You could describe particular topic. You could you know delete the topic, and uh, yeah, uh, by this uh, you could actually uh, handle your topic administration through the you know programmatically. So this is all. I will share the details uh, in the video as well as I will uh, share the Git link so you could download and you know practice all these uh, APIs and the admin util methods there. Yeah. For any details or any you know questions, you can comment on the video. Thank you.